Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you're all in good health and iman. I just wanted to make a really quick and short video. First of all, Ramadan Kareem to all my brothers and sisters, to all the Muslims all over the world. I hope we all benefit a lot in this blessed month. I know we're going to face a lot of trials and tribulations. But also, having said that, know that the shaitans are locked up, gates of hellfire are closed, the gates of paradise are wide open. So way more chance to do better. SubhanAllah, it's a kind of scary thought thinking that anything that we do wrong now is upon the evils of our own selves. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try getting any rewards for this month. Quick things I wanted to mention is those people who do the mistake of focusing on food to the extent that people begin to worry about eating more than actually fasting. This also goes along with spending lots and lots and lots of money on iftar, even though a person does not need to eat that much food. So alhamdulillah, you know when it reaches Maghrib, you're guaranteed to break your fast. Other people around the world don't have that blessing. They will have to spend time looking for food to break their fast with or simply go hungry. And many people think Ramadan is just about not eating and not drinking. They forget about controlling their tempers and watching what they say. In actuality, we are supposed to control our tempers and mouth even more during Ram the month of Ramadan. And many people don't take advantage of making dua before they break their fast. Well, I can't stress in this enough how important this is. Don't forget, this is one of the three times when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts a person's dua. And it's this time of the month where my heart goes out to my revert brothers and sisters with the non-Muslim families. Whilst we're having the company and blessings of breaking our fast with our families, don't forget them who are probably alone and who would wish for even just a day of Ramadan in the life of an all-Muslim family. Try your best, inshallah, to invite our brothers and sisters over to share this beautiful blessing with us, to share meals, to pray taraweh together, etc. One important, important, important thing I also wanted to mention is those people who are criticizing other brothers and sisters just because they don't normally practice, they don't pray, they don't wear hijab, etc. And they're now trying to do good for this month of Ramadan. You're trying to put them down. Please, 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 please stop that. What kind of good influence is that? And what kind of position are you in to look down on others? Instead of trying to encourage and persuade them to carry it on after Ramadan, making dua that Allah makes it easier for them, you're going around talking all sorts of unnecessary stuff. That ain't cool. If you ain't got nothing to say, zip it. Don't say anything else. Those who are trying to start afresh this month of Ramadan, I know you all can do it. I have faith in you. It may be hard at first, but believe me, the end result is worth it. And may Allah keep us all steadfast, inshallah. Um, during Ramadan, if you are looking to boost your iman, do make sure you check out my brother Hussein Thomas. You can find him on Facebook, Twitter. Um, he's got videos on YouTube. I think his channel is called Street or Dean TV. I'll try post up his links, inshallah. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, this brother has truly been blessed with the gift of giving da'wah. Do check him out. Otherwise, you're simply missing out. His name is Hussein Thomas. I think he could, I think that's how he writes it on Facebook and on Twitter he goes by the name Street or Dean. And on that note, may Allah make us benefit a lot during this month of Ramadan. May he keep us focused all throughout. Don't forget that this is the month of like we all wait for during the whole year. We don't know if we're going to live to see the end of Ramadan, let alone next Ramadan. So keep that thought in mind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.